What's up everybody? Paul again, TRT Rock. Today is Wednesday, August the 5th. Today I want to do address a question that I've been getting not so much from you guys, viewers here, or uh, anywhere else related to uh, the testosterone replacement therapy uh, forums and typical places that I comment on the internet, but mostly from friends and family who I've opened up to about this process. Do steroids make you an asshole? That's part of the big dogma that's plagued uh, steroids really since the early 80s, the, the start of the hyper-conservatism uh, that took over the country for the better part of 20 years. Uh, it was along with that, that that steroids automatically caused heart problems, it would kill you, uh, and, and it'll turn you into a rage-fueled monster who will beat up your mom and your girlfriend and ultimately lead you to dying in a pool of your own waste in the middle of a shitty apartment. Because that's what steroids do to everybody. And even someone so successful at the forefront, really the ultimate shining pinnacle and example of what steroids can do positively for a human being, Arnold denounced them. If anybody's seen an Arnold movie that's come out in the last four or five years, you know he doesn't have that big of a problem with them. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. But anyways, back on the point. Do steroids make you an asshole? Sure. So does money. So does a nice car. So does a hot new girlfriend. So do a really expensive new pair of shoes or clothes, anything, a new job, a new house, moving to a, a, a nicer neighborhood, anything that enhances your life in a positive way will enhance everything about you. Everything about you. Do steroids make you an asshole? No. Will they make you of an asshole if you're already an asshole? Yes, just like any of those other things. People might not know that you're an asshole. <laughs> because it might be a relatively small portion of your personality, but it's there. I know it's there because it's here. Uh, this guy. I know, I seem so nice. I, you can ask my wife. Uh, ever since starting this testosterone replacement therapy, those witty comebacks are coming back harder, sharper, faster. And I'm a lot less able to hide that look on my face that says, I don't care what you have to say right now. Yeah, I can make you an asshole. If that's a part of your personality, yes, it's going to come out. If you're a good, caring, giving, gregarious person, friend to all, that's going to get more noticeable as well. Everything about you will be magnified because, like me, in my situation, it was depressed, right? So a lot of people who I've known for a long time said, man, this is as happy as I've seen you uh, since we first started hanging out. Yeah, well, but yeah. <laughs> I was 22, 23 when we started hanging out. Now I'm 34, and I, I spent, the, you know, the last five, probably four to five years of my life feeling like balls because of this, you know? So yeah, I feel better. Yeah, I'm happier. You know, that's the whole point. I don't know if steroids will turn you into a rage-fueled monster capable of ultra-violence. I know there are some steroids out there that are more likely to do it than others. You can do your own research on that, but primarily the one that I've read about that, that can cause a heightened sense of volatility in a personality is Trenbolone. But, by and large, I think anything that enhances your life, uh, enhances your personality, enhances all parts of your personality. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Hope that answers the question. Comment below. 
What do you think? Any of you guys out there on TRT, have you experienced any bouts of anger or violence? Do you have any other questions that you'd like me to address in the future? Make sure you check out some of my other videos. I posted a video of a deadlift workout last week where I set a new PR. I'll be posting more of those soon. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you again real quick. Peace.